Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Right. So let's see what are we supposed to be reading. Read right that. Here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So you find God in the Bible. Yeah. That's 
what we call the what we call the come back to this Bible, read this Bible. This is right. the time God is. Right. You want to know how God feels about what you do or how you behave? Right. You can't go to a reverend or deacon. Right. You got to come to the Bible and see what does God say about yeah. my behavior, how yeah. I carry myself. And yeah. then you measure yourself up with the Bible. Bring it up. If the way that I'm walking is wrong, I need to follow his way. That's right. Now, oh, no. how yeah. is the climate here in Milwaukee? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Why are God neighborhoods like this? Because I see a friend of mine, my friends have the video of what they were doing. They just broke into the phone. They broke into the phone place to Walmart, stealing TV. Make sure you just read that flyer, sis. Okay. And it's not in this thing, what they do. They broke into the place. Why you want to break into the place? The home places is still phones and TVs and stuff. You know why that's happening, sis? Guess what? The answer is in this life. That's right. I'm going to show you why that's happening. Because it's not back to wisdom. Right. Our people didn't just wake up and just snap like that. Right. All of this chaos and commercial commotion in the world is not happening for no reason. Bring it out. But I'm going to explain right. to you with the Bible right. why right. Milwaukee is the way that it is. Mm -hmm. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. It shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read it again from the top. But it shall come to pass. So this is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Remember the sign. Right. Moses was speaking to your ancestors. So Moses was telling our ancestors, look, here is the agreement. If you do what God says, he'll make sure all good things happen to you. He'll make your life prosperous. But if you disobey God, bad things are going to happen to you. Read. But it shall come to pass in the if, future if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to none God say, read. To observe, to do all his commandments do and his all, statutes. Do all his commandments, right. not some of them. Right. In the church, they limit it to what? Right. Ten commandments. Yeah. Bring it it's more than ten rules yeah. that we are supposed to follow as a people. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So that's one strike against the church. They're not teaching our people the full understanding right. of God. That's right. right. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That all these curses, all these what? All these curses, all these what? All these curses, oh, curses are yeah. bad things. Yeah. So Moses was telling us, you don't listen to God, bad things Being are gonna happen. Yeah. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. These bad things are gonna overcome our people. We will be covered with this turmoil, this ang this anguish, this anxiety. Right. Read. Verse, verse 16. Uh-huh. Curse shall thou be in the city. Wait a minute. It said, curse shall thou be in the city. Right. When you read that, it's only one group of people that fit that. Bring it out. Yes. Group of people are cursed in the city. Yes. Bring it out. Us, the yes. people on this side. Yes. Let's think about this. Mm -hmm. Does Milwaukee look like the place where the so-called Caucasian, uh, so Caucasians live? No. Not at all. What I see right here on this one corner, I see it in Chicago. Bring it out. I see it in Detroit. Teach. I see it all over the earth. That's right. Wherever our people live, we live in hellish conditions. Bring it out. Even where I walk in those places, I see people on the side. That's a curse. Yes, they live on, they sleep it on the, in the back of the boat, no, uh, the bus, the bus ride. Yeah. It, it, I hope it's people. And guess what, sis? Did you mind if I interject? I don't want to cut you off. That's okay. The same thing you said you see, I see it in Chicago. People sleeping on the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Nine off, That's off right. of drugs. And That's you, cursed in the city. Right. That's right. This right when I, these people are living on the bridge. I don't know who took it. They said it was a man, a, this, a rich man, whatever, whatever. A man took a bump from under that bridge and got him from the property to the property. It's wrong that our people are doing it. Yes, it's wrong that our people are doing it. But you got to understand the Bible is going to tell you why. That's right. That's the right. reason why we live right. in these type of conditions right. is because we 
broke the rules of God. Don't forget that. Right. That's why we here. That's why we in the ghetto. That's why we in the slums. That's why it's gang violence. That's why it's drug dealing, drug selling, drug using. Right. Because we broke the rules right. of God. It's just like me. I live right here on 23rd in Burlash, uh -huh. behind this school. Uh -huh. And I live in a woman house. Uh -huh. My landlord, all he do is come, come and collect the rent on the third. Uh -huh. And he's not fixing nothing in the house. To get the rent out the house. He goes, Matter of fact, interject says, mm -hmm. What you said, I hear that from all of my people. Yes. That's cursed in the city. That's a hellish condition. What people are in the worst condition, no matter where they live. Right. That's us. The people on this side. Y'all yes. see y'all self in that side? Yeah. Take a look at that side. On one side, you got your slave thing. On the other side, you got your God giving right. That's right. So, right. what you see yourself in? Jordan, Jordan, Christ comes from the Jews. That's right. right. That's right. That shows right. you what? You related to Christ. Right. That's right. I'm a exact defendant of it. There you go. Right. So you got to understand yeah. this. Stay with me. All of this stuff you see going on in your neighborhood is because we didn't listen to God. That's what I was showing the sister. Read that again, cursed in the city. Right. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Shall thou be in the city. Why? Because we didn't listen to God. That's right. That's right. not just modern times. Think right. about it. During slavery, yeah. yeah. slavery, when you see these signs right here, yeah. no matter where we went, if we tried to run away, they put a bounty on your head. Yeah. Dead or alive. Yeah. Bring my slave back. Yeah. That's mine. There you yeah. go. Today, we in the slums, we in the ghetto. It's always. Yeah. Yeah. David, let's go back. Look at where we at right now. Right. Look at all this trash on the ground. Right. That's only our neighborhood. That's what right. see this on 78 and uh, Bobby Lee. You're going to see this down there on 4th and Keith. No, we don't. And wait, wow. let me ask you this. That's where the white folks stand, right? Yeah. It's the same right. wherever you go. That's in right. the world. In the in world. The, when you look at our people in Brazil, right. they, stay in, they stay in the favelas. Yeah. Right. They stay in the ghetto. That's right. right. They'll stay where the beach is at in the world. It's just like exactly. So who is this talking about right here? Us. Talking about we are God's. That's right. Right. I'm gonna show you some more. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. That's right. You've been studying. You've been reading this song, bro. I always do. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's time for you to stand up. That's right. Got brothers here. Yes. That's building up. Yeah. So I want to see you building with my brothers. Yeah. But I don't want to leave the top. We're going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that this Bible is talking about you. That's right. Read. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Automatically, when you hear that, when was we cursed in the field? Wait, as a wait, wait. What are y'all got there? Slavery. Everybody yeah. on that side was cursed in the yeah. field. The blacks was picking what? Cotton. Yeah. The so-called Hispanics, what was they doing? Cutting sugar cane for the white man. Yeah. The Native Americans, what was they doing? Digging for gold. That's right. Yeah. We were all cursed in the field. How we cursed in the field today? You can have a job that pay you thirty dollars an hour, right. but for some strange reason, you're struggling to make rent. I thought that was yeah. a highway. Verse 17, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be thy what? Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Think about that. We try to save, we try to have bank accounts, but we right. are never successful. Why? Right. You always seem like, it seems like you always got a hurdle in front of you. Right. There you go. But you don't ever succeed because why? The curses. Right. We broke God's laws as a people. Right. That's, That's right. what's going to make you prosperous. Joshua won the name. We're going to go see what will make us prosper as a people. So they say it's economic. Right. No, they say it's policy. It's exactly. They say it's policy. Right. 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 When I'm standing right now, uh -huh. um, I moved into another road. I'm just playing for another road. I'm in another road. Right. 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 Right
pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 